Hey guys, I'm back with another video. And uh, today I'm going to be doing some more to this, the G27 wheel stand. Uh, I guess it'll be the third video of modifying it. The other two are strengthening it up, adding some supports. And this one, um, I'm going to make a little enclosure thing for the pedals to hold in place so they don't slide around on the carpet. And uh, maybe, I might even uh, do the reverse pedal modifications, so take them out. So like in a real car, they're not like this, the hinge is on the top, so they're hinging like down. Um, I might do that modification too after I'm finished with that. Um, I'll figure it out. But for now I'm just going to like kind of make an enclosure and see what it looks like from there and like what I can do from that. And then maybe add like a, you know, support up and then do the backwards hinge thing so it's more realistic. Um, also, uh, I made this shift knob in wood shop and put it in my car. And it like stripped out the threads because we just uh, used the wood threads, just threaded the wood, and it was pretty bad. So um, I decided to bring it up here, and it turns out it just like it pushes like really tight line, doesn't like screw onto this. Um, you just kind of like you know wiggle it on, and actually a pretty good fit, and I kind of like it. It just I don't know, I like it better than the uh, stock G27 one. So yeah, I'll keep that there for now because it's kind of cool. Maybe get a little bit smaller one like cut it right there or something because it's kind of tall but I don't know it's still kind of cool I'm still in my car a lot but yeah anyways <clears throat> yeah let's go ahead and uh, cut some 2F4s so I uh, already measured I think it's 28 inches um, what I need I want it to go you know be like from there to like there um, so I can get one going across that way too so so I can have a 2x4 yeah, going that way. So I have it at about 28 inches. So I can go on across there and through here and have some extra room just in case I need to move it at all. And then two by four going across it there. So I'm gonna have it. Uh, I'm gonna have it going on top of this across. There'll be a little space on the bottom, but I'll have it going across the top. And then the two by four going across this way will be under that. So it'll pretty much just even all this out so it won't be at an angle or anything um yeah all right so 28 inches i need two 28 inch two f4s and then i'll figure out how wide i want it from there for the next other one so uh yeah let's go out and get some two f4s and cut them and stuff All right, so it's just past seven o'clock right now. The sun's going down, but it's still kind of warm out. It was like 38 degrees today. Um, and the sun was like super warm. I felt like it was like 70. It was hot. Uh, yeah, it's still pretty warm though. T-shirt weather. All right, so let's see. Two by four is 28 inches long. First of all, right now we're gonna need to cut them on the miter saw, so Gonna get clear that up right now. No, oh, well, wow. that looks. So it needs to be 28, that's 26. Well, oh. I thought it was like 32. That's 28 right there. Alright. Let's quickly get these things cut and measured. Measured, then cut. Measure once, cut once, twice. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this. those and like right now I just thought about this these could maybe use the be the cross member the cross I don't know what they're called the the, the cross boards the ones that go across so I'm just gonna bring all these up and 
Check them all out. Alright, office. Alright, so let's see. First, I'll check these. That. Oh, that looks just about right. We'll see. But these better be right. So it goes there. Oh, yeah. And then these go under it like that yeah. it's a little bit these are a little bit thinner than that Let's see if you from that well, that's fine all right so if we do that and then the other one across there uh, we could do smooth it oh that cord. So I wonder. Ooh, I just thought of something. If we do that, and the cord can go through there. And let's see, it can move up, and it'll be more stable, or more I don't know something. I'm so weird about that cord though. So maybe. And the core can just go under it, I guess, like that. And then... Oh, we don't really need to have that. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing the, uh... You know, switch... Pedal things. I don't know, yeah. Alright, you know what? Let's go down. Take them apart. And then I'll just get a piece of plywood that'll probably work. And then I'll you know, screw them to the piece of plywood, and then I'll have that, and then I'll know what to do from there for cross supports and stuff to hold it together. So I guess I'll go do that then. Change of plans. All right. See you in a second. All right, guys. So a little uh, checkup. I got a. Uh, I got it all apart. This is pretty much like the best job I've ever done with anything, because I like actually have time and I'm like doing it right because. Uh, I don't know, I just feel like it, so, yeah. I labeled everything, just in case I take the wires off, gas, gas, brake, brake, clutch, clutch, uh, gas, brake, clutch, these things, and then up, so I can, you know, switch around, whatever. Uh, but I got it all out, and they're really dust, like, hairy, I don't know how it all got in there. I'm gonna blow it off with the, uh, Ultra Duster, and then, um, yeah, pretty much, I'm just going to get a piece of plywood, and then, you know, bolt these on, the other way around, so that gas on the right, even when they're flipped around. Put those on the other way around, uh, and stuff. So I'm going to use these two holes. Um, and I'm either going to use wood screws or try to find that thread. I'll use wood screws that are smaller so it doesn't mess that thread up, even though it uses these for attaching it. So these are just uh, pointless anyways, unless you want to mount it to, uh, I don't know, some stand. Anyways, I'm going to try to find either a wood screw that's smaller than that so it doesn't mess up the threads too much. Or, like, I'm going to see if I need bolts with those threads. Six of them, which we probably don't, but... Anyways, yeah. Attach these with plywood. I'll do, you know, just cable management and stuff, just so these don't get, like, ripped out or anything. Um, clean it up a little bit, and then find... You know, mount the plywood up, and then find some supports and all that. Uh, for that. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and blow these out. And it's, like, leaking a little bit or something. I don't know, whatever. Wow. It's all greasy, so all the hair is sticking to the grease. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's see, I think I'm going to take one of these off, bring it out and see if I can find any bolts that fit that, and if not, then I'll find a wood screw that's a little bit 
smarter than that thread. And while I'm out there, come on. Oh, weird. It's got like a cold breeze. Anyways, uh, while I'm out there, I'll find a piece of plywood to mount them on, and then get it all together. So, which one should I bring with? Um, I'll bring gas. So now I gotta remember what colors I have to unplug it. So I have to remember what colors go, you know, whatever, which direction. So it looks like red, orange, black. Yeah, red, orange, black. Top to bottom, R O B. Red. Orange. Alright, red, orange, black, got those out. So when I mount it, it should be like that. And then, uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, it'll be like that. So then, do that. Alright, it almost looks, so, oh, let's see. Um, I guess, well, yeah, I'll put it on the plywood, then I'll figure out if I want to tilt the plywood like that, or you know, whatever. Cause that it looks like I'm pushing it straight down pretty much. Instead of like that, which I don't know. I'll figure it out once I get it on the plywood. I cannot tell if this is leaking or not. I don't know. All right, let's go. It's also getting dark out. Getting dark fast. Which doesn't really matter, but whatever. You know what? I give up. Alright. Time for wood screws. Alright. Now let's get a piece of plywood. Um. <clears throat> oh, no, that's not good enough. It's almost good. This probably, yes, that is good. Um. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I'm not sure how far apart or how close we want the pedals, but let's see if we turn, oh. yeah, this one looks a little better quality, if we do that, then that'll definitely be enough, so we'll get, wait a minute, this one has less screw holes, so we'll use this, alright, so we're going to bring this in, figure everything out once we get inside. Let's go. All right. So it looks like, yeah, those are closer than those. We'll probably have it the exact same now, you know, I'm going to put a little bit farther apart than these, like a half inch for each one. So let's measure how far apart these are. Alright, so that's two. This one's two inches. And this one is... Wait. Yeah, two inches. Two and three quarters, approximately. So we'll do... What do you think? Like three? Wait. I'll do from that. This one, yeah, about three from that side. A little over two. So we'll do like two and a half. Two and a half and, yeah, two and a half, three and a half. We'll do that. It'll probably, you know, maybe I'll just measure what my, the one, what my pedals are in my car. And just do it like that. So it's just realistically to my car stuff. Oh, you know what? We're going to do that. I'll be right back. All right, so it was actually two and a half and three and a half in my car. So I was going to do it right anyways. So yeah. In pretty much an inch uh, inch farther than they are right now. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Get this all figured out then. So if I do it like that. Alright. Okay. 
There we go. So those are in. Still loose, so I can, you know, just move, move it around over it's cold a little bit. Uh, and stuff. And then, yeah. They're just sticking out a lot. But whatever. Right, I'm actually, this one's just a little bit too loose. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, didn't fall in that, that's good. There we go. Alright, anyways, I'll be right back. Alright, you know what? I'll just screw all of them in just a little bit, so they hold. Because I can't just, like, turn it around because these are still sticking out, so, like, mess up the counter. Um, but I'm probably doing it on, like, the corner. Anyways, I'm just going to screw all these in and just, just get it in the wood a little bit so it holds. Um, and then I'll move it around a little bit. So basically, um, if I just, 45, it's probably not going to work. Let's just let's test it out really quick. No, I think that'll be perfect because it'll make it a little bit shorter, so it'll go in there farther. Oh okay. yeah. So we're just gonna let's see. Here we go. I'm gonna cut these just like an inch shorter or two inches shorter, and then the 45 degree angle, and it should fit perfectly. Look some screws and get it all good. Then it should that should be all I need to all I need to do. guys so I got it finished up uh, it's been like <clears throat> 45 minutes half hour and I pretty much tightened everything down bolted these together I uh, just got it all together and uh, yeah it, it's pretty nice it needs the stabilization uh, it's on the bottom bottom flexes so I need to add some support like going from there to there I don't know on the bottom and maybe some more supports but Besides that, uh, it's pretty stable, except it's way too close. I need to move it that way quite a bit. Um, yeah, like a lot. Not, not an insane amount, but right now, it's like really close. And uh, I even have the chair back like farther than I really want. So the steering wheel is almost arm's length away. And I don't know, it just kind of feels weird to reach that. I'd like to sit... I, know, I like to be kind of close to the steering wheel, so probably like this. And then, you know, just nice and easy to do everything. But then it's just, like, really close. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm going to use these. Maybe even have the same length, I don't know. But I'll, uh, I'll cut those, you know, whatever angles and out more. So that this is farther out. And maybe even angled this way. Because right now these straight up and down, I'd like them to be angled, uh, that I like the top to come down so they're angled that way a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, I'll explain later, but anyways, yeah, I'd like to change that a little bit. So the top is down and the or top is forward more and the bottom is back more. So the pedals are angled a little different and quite a bit farther back. So I'll do that tomorrow. Right now it's alright though. Uh you know. I like it. But yeah, so I guess I'll probably keep that in the same video. So yeah. I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning, whenever, early tomorrow morning. I'll probably set an alarm, wake up like 8 o'clock and do it. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, it's pretty good. I'm just going to drift for like probably a few hours. I don't even know what time to clean up a little bit, drift for a few hours, go to bed, wake up, finish this up, stabilize it, stable, I don't know what to call it. Um, and tomorrow I might do some more work on this too. I might just kind of... I have like a full free day, so I might just like clean up the wires, add some kill management options, maybe like a little table so I can set cups or something, I don't know. Um, maybe even another support somewhere, I don't know. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a lot of work on this, kind of perfect everything, make it all good. Um, maybe add a stand for the seat, like so I can just take that out of there 
and just put it on like some wood and have that. Um, <clears throat> or even get the E28 seat from the E28. Um, Cause I took the passenger seat out and that'd be really cool having like a real car seat right here. Cause it's like a sport seat kind of. Um, maybe even wire up a 12 volt power source so I can like, cause it's a full power seat too. I don't know, but that, that that's a lot of stuff. So yeah, anyways, I'll, uh, I guess it'll probably be like two seconds, a half a second for you, but it'll be like 12 hours for me. So yeah, see you guys in like 12 hours slash one second. All right guys, so it's 9.43, 44. Um, woke up like a little bit ago, got ready to work. Um, I was looking at it a little bit and you know, tried a few things and I figured out, or I, uh, I don't know, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get these ones, the long ones that I was going to use to go across anyways. I'm going to bolt these down, or screw them down to there. So that's like flat right now, it's kind of at an angle. Um, so I'm going to cut them, you know, right about there. And then I'll get a support going under it to, you know, make it even. But then I'll have it just bolt like that. So that's farther back rather than up like, you know, where it was. Um, and it'll lift off the ground a little bit more, which will be good. So then, right here, it'll pretty much be like that. Um, actually feels pretty realistic. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, a little bit higher off the ground, so it's not like that. So that's good. So yeah, pretty much. I'm going to go out, cut these, get a support to go under there. Um, something kind of tall, so maybe even angles it that way a little bit, but I think it actually feels pretty good like that, now that it's actually to the right distance. And I'll just bolt those right back down, I kept them in, right back down into this, and then, you know, like, probably four screws, three screws maybe here, here, you know, support, all that stuff. Anyways, so let's just go ahead and get tape measure, measure those, cut them, get a support, bolt all together, and it should be good, um, for now, hopefully, so. Alright, then we'll do some cable management type of stuff, since we got all that right now. And just kind of clean it up a little bit, a little bit later probably, I'm probably drift for a while. Um, I guess I'm going to set up course, oh yeah, maybe beam and G-Drive. Dirt Rally. I don't know. I'll open that up later, but you know, some good old morning coffee, it's good stuff. It's nice out too. It's gonna be 50 degrees today, it says, so good. Anyways, I'll be right back. Alright, got tape measure. Let's measure this out <coughs> and get it all cut, cut it in and sodded it and stuff. Alright. So, probably. A little bit past that, so I can maybe get a support there if I need it on the back. So, yeah, we'll do like right there 22 inches. All right, 22 inches. Let's go uh, ahead and cut that. Alright, here we are, again. I might just do this. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Alright. So, 22, 
got those. Um, probably do these. Probably do these lat next. I don't know. One second. Um. See when I press the brake, how that kind of flexes out in the middle because there's no support, it's going that way. I think what I'm going to do is just quick cut another, this is 20, I think it was 18, but I just cut it 20 just for some extra just in case. I think I'm just going to cut, um, let's see, what are those screws? You know what, maybe I don't need to. Or I could, yeah, cut an 18 inch piece, take the bottom screws out, and then use those to screw it in most of the way, because those will go into it. And then also, you know, go like down into that. Um, I think I'll do that. So I'm just gonna cut another 18 inch, two by four or whatever I can find. All right, let's go do that. All right, got it. Let's get this done. Do some drifting. Alright, got it. Let's test the flex. It definitely helped. Alright. Let's get some drifting going. This is the LS3 RX7 at the drift track. <laughs> 